Okay, so sorry for the bad lighting. It's not at night, but I just can't not get this down. So, uh, like my previous video where I took the two flat plates and put them together, which just makes like like a bigger sort of flat plate in one way, but that it did turn into immediately that horseshoe shape was really interesting to me. So as well, lately I've been playing around with some sticks and uh, because I do basketry as one of my hobbies. So I've been using st sticks and playing around with how you can fashion sticks. And this is, uh, this is not a new thing, it's like I didn't invent this formation, but I just feel like there's some hidden information in this formation that hasn't been noticed maybe before. So you have four sticks, and I propose that what I'm about to make is a model of four orthogonally perpendicular lines all together, like a model of four perpendicular lines, four perpendicular axes. Clearly there's a standard boop, 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 there we go, and you go, well there's We've got our three dimensions, where you exactly are you fitting this fourth dimension? But somehow it gets in there. And by making it, you make this construction that has the tensegrity to maintain itself through the internal stress. Each member is stressed in such a way as to maintain the structure of the whole thing Oop. simultaneously. And I will make my uh, more detailed argument for the fact that they are all perpendicular to each other in a second. Okay, so this member, there's a piece of paper that I'll post that goes with. We have this member. This member crosses, so this axis crosses this axis. The fact that this isn't 90 degrees right here is an artifact of flattening four dimensions into three-ish. Okay. Then it crosses this axis. And you say, well, so it crosses two axes. That's like not strange. It crosses a third axis right here. And you could say, well, if you have two axes running parallel, then it's really easy to cross two parallel axes with your line. And you say, yeah, but these are not parallel. None of these are parallel. Notice, to prove this one crosses here, which means it's got a perpendicularity to this axis, plus it crosses this one over here, which means it's also perpendicular to that one. This is all four dimensions, four axes, perpendicular to each other. And there's a sine wave component that I can't really explain here. If you look carefully, of course, because they're wobbly, right there, like that. You know, really they express one peak-to-peak -peak sine wave or one trough-to-trough -trough sine wave, each of them. I have to add some extensions because building things in real time, real world. Anyway, and notice that this strange structure, through those internal tensions, is self-supporting. I know it's a kid's toy and stuff like that. This is the least you can do. There's no way of doing it with three sticks, I'm pretty sure, because it's adding the fourth dimension that creates the tension to maintain it. Three dimensions is easy is a little lax. Okay. And what else? Oh yeah. And I like to think of it as like a, a true anarchist symbol because while it's self-supporting, it is composed of members and each member has to bend themselves a little to make the whole thing work. But when they do, 
more than simple pull. 